I want to start by telling you what I think is the worst thing about this math book. So the worst thing about this math book is that it doesn't have any answers in the back of the book. I think that is not good. I think it should have answers. I wish it did, even just some answers, but it doesn't. Um, a good part is that this book is so popular. Okay, it's so popular. In fact, this is probably the most popular topology book in the entire world that when you Google some of the exercises, you might get like solved homework problems or something somewhere on the internet or a video or, you know, you could probably find the answers or you can ask AI, but then you have the issue of, you know, is it right? Um, so yes, uh, it's, it's an amazing book. It is Topology by James R. Monkreese. This is the Eastern Economy Edition. I bought this book a long time ago and I, it's, the hardcover was more money and I didn't have the money. So I got this cheaper version instead. Um, let's go to the content so you can see uh, what's, what's in this book. Okay, I'm just gonna find the table of contents here and show you. Um, this book is very comprehensive. That's one of the things that makes it so good. It makes an excellent reference. Okay. So here's where it starts. General topology. It's very standard, very clear. And then we've got topological spaces and continuous functions, connectedness and compactness, countability and separation axioms, the Tikhonov theorem, metrization theorems, and paracompactness complete metric spaces and function spaces, bare spaces and dimension theory. And then part two is on algebraic topology. That's right, it actually it has a little introduction here. You know, and it talks about the fundamental group and stuff. So separation theorems in the plane, uh, the Seifert van Kampen theorem. And then we have classification of surfaces and classification of covering spaces and applications to group theory, a bibliography and an index, and again, no answers. And here's, here's what, what Monkreese has to say about this book. Um, this book is intended as a text for a one or two semester introduction to topology at the senior, okay, so, you know, fourth year undergrad or first year graduate level. So it's an advanced math book. It is not intended for um, you know, people who don't know how to write proofs. You definitely want to know how to write proofs. The subject of topology is of interest in its own right, and it also serves to lay the foundations for future study and analysis and geometry and algebraic topology. Now, that's not to say it's really hard. Like, it, this, this book is actually really good. Um, the prerequisites, here we go. There are no formal subject matter prerequisites for studying most of this book, right? Other than, you know, you gotta know how to write proofs. I do not even assume that the reader knows much set theory. Having said that, I must hasten to add that unless the reader has studied a bit of analysis or rigorous calculus, much of the motivation for the concepts introduced in the first part of the book will be missing. Yeah, and it, again, it's easier if you, if you know how to write proofs because if you go to, let's just go to like the exercises here. Just to understand like, you know, how things work. You know, here's, here's, here's some things you gotta do, right? And I, I feel like well, these are pretty easy. Let's, let's, let's jump ahead. Let's go to like, here, the metric topology. Here, you know, to show these things, to write these proofs, you have to have some proof writing skills, right? You're not gonna just like pick up this book with no background and, and learn. So again, the, the audience here is, is senior senior undergraduates and uh, first year grad students. And that basically guarantees that you have some mathematical maturity. I was really lucky. I had a really good topology teacher as an undergrad and I took it um, after, uh, after I, uh, you know, I took my senior year. So I already had like two semesters of analysis, abstract algebra, two semesters of linear algebra, uh, some combinatorics and graph theory, some PDEs. Um, discrete math, um, two semesters of mathematical statistics. I mean, I had a lot of mathematics behind me. And so when I studied topology, I, I found it quite enjoyable and I, I didn't think it was that bad. Um, 
it was one of my favorite classes, you know? So yeah, um, that was my, that was my experience with topology. It was a very positive one. Uh, I understand that everyone has that experience. I remember a lot of my classmates were struggling and I wondered why, because I knew they were smart. Uh, I, I didn't think I was smarter than them. I just think that I had, I just had more experience at that time. A lot of them were, um, kind of more fresh to the math program, you know, it was like their second year, you know, and that, that's a tough, that's a tough, tough thing to do, taking topology your second year. Oh, it smells really good, it smells really, really good. It has a different smell, I feel like the Eastern Economy Edition smells differently. But you can use this book for self-study, it's just when you get to the exercises, um, you know, you don't have any hints or anything, I mean... You know, most of the time you know when your proof is right. You're like, oh, okay, I, I proved this, but yeah. Yeah, it's good stuff. Uh, I will uh, leave a link in the description uh, of this video to um, this book in case you want to pick up a copy. Uh, let's look at the definition of a topology. It's right here. Let's take a look at this. See what Munkry says. A topology on a set X is a collection tau, that's tau, of sets of the subsets of X having the following properties. So uh, the empty set and X are in tau. Uh, the union of elements of any subcollection of tau is in tau. And the intersection of the elements of any finite subcollection of tau is in tau. I like, I like how he says it. It's just so clear. A set X for which a topology tau has been specified is called a topological space. Properly speaking, a topological space is an ordered pair, X comma tau, consisting of a set X and a topology tau on X. But we often omit the uh, omit specific mention of tau if no confusion will arise. Right, and you just call them open sets. Elements of tau are called open sets. If X is a topological space with topology tau, we say that U, a subset U of X is an open set of X if U belongs in the collection tau. Right, so uh, U is open in X or is an open set of X if U is an element of tau. The elements of tau are the open sets. Using this terminology, one can say that a topological space is a set X together with a collection of sets, subsets of X called open sets, such that the empty set and X are both open, and such that arbitrary unions and finite intersections of open sets are open. Boom, right? That's the entire definition right there. Uh, and then they give you an example here, um, which, which I won't go through, but there's, there's a, you know, you can see there's an example there. There's another one here. So it does, it does do a good job, right? It's a really good book. Um, and it's definitely worth having. So despite no uh, answers, um, it's it's really clear. It's really well written. There's other really good topology books. Uh, I have several other ones that are awesome as well. Um, but yeah, I, I like this one. It's a very popular one. It's one that's still used today all over the world. And I just wanted to show it to you. By the way, I do have topology videos uh, here, on my, here on my channel. I'll just go to my channel, search for topology. And you can start learning topology, and I'll leave a link in the description uh, in case you want to get this book. Also, I have math courses. They're on my website, um, mathsorcerer.com or freemathfits.com. They're actually on Udemy, but if you get them, please use the links from my website because I lowered the price and it helps me. Key takeaway from this video is that this book is awesome. It is the most popular topology book in the entire world. I hope it's been helpful. Keep doing math.